Swim baits themselves can be broken down in a lot of different categories. In the cooler months, refer to a swim bait a lot of times as being something like a small, soft paddle tail. Um, and when you talk about hard swim baits, the sky's the limit there. You've got big jointed baits, you've got two-piece glide baits, you've got um, all kind of baits. Baits that imitate sunfish and, and ones that imitate herring. Uh, in clear water lakes, especially in the summertime, hard body swim baits can be very effective for catching big fish and just catching fish that are keyed in to the specific type of forage that's on that lake. So here's three tips or just general rules of thumb, things to keep in mind whenever you're fishing hard body swim baits, especially in the warmer months, open water, herring lakes, any type, any type of lake that bass eat big swim baits. First thing is retrieve speed. The tree speed is everything and it can change on the hour. It can change really spot to spot. Um, it's very much a situational thing that you always need to be paying close attention to. My opinion can be make or break if, uh, if a fish commits to the bait or not. If the fish are, let's say 15 foot down over 30 foot of water, you want to slow that retrieve speed down to make sure that those, that bait has a chance to get down. Those fish have a chance to see it, track it, and then ultimately decide if they want to eat it or not. Very much a situational, part of fishing hard body swim baits, but it's something to always pay close attention to and don't hesitate to adjust on the fly. Maybe even switch up your retrieve speed during the same cast to make a big difference. Now, the second thing that I wanna pay close attention to is the size. Now, hard swim baits, they range from a couple of inches all the way up to seven, eight, nine, ten 10 inches. Throw something that's the size of what you're seeing that your fish are feeding on. Small thread fins, may reach for a smaller bait. Is it big herring? Uh, herring can be six, seven, eight inches. Sometimes you'll see herring two or three inches long. So try to reach for something that's gonna be closely, you know, it's gonna closely resemble the forage that your fish are feeding on. Third most important part about fishing hard body swim baits, it's definitely timing. Now, I lost the clip of this. The audio of it was messed up, so I had to reshoot this. But in a nutshell, timing is everything whenever you're fishing a big hard body swim bait. Naturally, a lot of fish are going to follow these baits back to the boat. They're going to boil on them. They're going to swat at them and just track behind them a lot of times. But identifying certain weather conditions, wind can help a lot. When is the best time to throw those swim baits? And a lot of times it just comes down to just keep it in your hand, trial and error. Um, another thing to, to always keep in mind is that if you do pull fish off of a given target and they don't connect to it, don't always throw that bait right back in there. Maybe leave them, come back, try them a little bit later on, hit them from a different angle. Those kind of things can make a big difference whenever you're fishing hard swim baits. Um, and then you also have to identify too that there's certain days that they're just not gonna eat big baits like this. You wanna come at them with something a little more finesse, maybe something down in the water column. But if you keep these baits in your hand and you're willing to give them a try, you're gonna have some amazing experiences and you'll see some things that frankly a lot of other bass fishermen aren't going to get to see because this is the kind of the size bait that they like to eat and uh man it can really unlock some awesome fishing so generally speaking though i'm always going to try to throw this stuff on like 15 to 20 25 pound fluorocarbon anything in that range depending on the size and the weight of the bait i like to throw it on a uh, really like a 7.3 to 7.6 size um you know, medium heavy, fast tip casting rod, and uh, in most cases, a pretty high speed reel, like a seven or eight to one. So hopefully that'll help you out. Um, hey, just keep those few tips in mind whenever you're fishing hard body swim baits. And uh, it's a bait that really it, it can work for you all year long. So give them a try. Hope that stuff helps out and answers a few questions. Best of luck on the water, guys.